Hey there, car enthusiasts. Today we have something special lined up for you. We are going to dive into the world of Japanese car number plates. You might have noticed unique combinations of characters on Japanese cars, but do you know actually what they mean? So stick around because we are going to decode the mystery behind this Japanese car number plates. All right, let's start with the appearance or style of the car number plates. The private vehicles which have more than 660cc engine capacity, they wear white background green text number plates. The commercial vehicles which have more than 660cc engine capacity, they will have a green background with white text uh, styling on them. However, if you are driving a mini car or K car in Japan, which have a 660cc engine, then your number plate will be yellow. If that uh, mini car is for a commercial purpose, then the background color will turn into black with yellow text on it. Sometimes we see some micro cars on the streets, right? Those cars were like uh, sky blue colored number plates. Of course, there are some exceptions, like official vehicles of foreign diplomats in Japan, they wear like uh, blue background color plates. Another example could be like uh, official vehicles of the royal family in Japan. They won't be wearing the regular number plates that we have. Instead, we see an uh, imperial seal placed in the front of the car. On the police cars, we also spot the, uh, the national police agency seal placed above the number plate in the front of the police cars. That's about the coloration. How about the formatting or layout? and also the meaning of the characters and the digits shown in the front of the car. It starts with the kanji, which displays the name of the number plate issuing office. It can be name of the prefecture or city or like district or area name. It all depends where you got your car registered and where you live. Some densely populated prefectures may have multiple uh, number plate issuing offices, while some other prefectures may have only one single name for entire cars in that prefecture. For example, Tokyo cars may display like uh, Shinagawa, Setagaya, Tama, Nerima, or Hachioji and more, while all the cars in Akita will be only wearing Akita kanji for the number plates because there are less people or less number of cars in that prefecture. Next up on the first line we have three digits. That is the vehicle class code. It goes from 0 to 9 and each represents a different uh, vehicle class. Hundreds are for the trucks with larger engine capacity or longer in length. Two hundreds are for small to medium buses. Three hundred series are for the passenger cars which has more than 2000 cc engine or longer than 4.7 meters in length. As you see, my sedan has a 300 series which is 305, right? 400s are for vans, wagons, station wagons, smaller trucks with uh, 2000 cc engine or less, or shorter than 4.7 meters. 500s are for the passenger cars with engine size between 660 cc to 2000 cc, and also shorter than 4.7 meters. That's why most of the K cars or mini cars wear the 500 series of these number plates. 600s and 700s are not in use anymore. 800s are for special vehicles which require yearly inspection, such as like camper vans, bucket trucks, or tankers, and so on. 900s are for the tractors or forklifts, and zeros are for construction equipments. Japan started utilizing this three digit vehicle class code since 1998. Before that, it used to be two digits or even like single digit in early 1950s. So if you see a car which has a two digits or single digit vehicle code, that means that car is quite old or it's, uh, it was registered before 1998. Next up we have a single Japanese Hiragana character displayed over there. It is issued at the time of new registration. And on the screen you can see the possible Hiragana characters that can be used for the private vehicles. The commercial vehicles have a different set of Hiragana characters. And there are two special Hiraganas, Wa and Re. Those two are for the rental cars in Japan. So if you, if you spot a car on the street which has WA or RE on the number plate, that means the vehicle belongs to a car rental shop or like a car sharing service. The main part on the car number plate is that four digit serial number, right? It can be randomly assigned by the re uh, issuing office at the time of registration, or you can customize it by yourself. Let's say you want number 2174 on your vehicle, 
then you go ahead and pay ex some extra fee and get it issued for your vehicle. However, some numbers are high in demand. They are the most wanted. Let's say you are driving X5 and you want to display only five on your car. Then you have to go through some uh, applications, some lottery process to be able to acquire it. There is a um, lottery system every Monday in each uh, registration office for those uh, most wanted numbers. So every Monday they run lottery and if you win the lottery, you go ahead and pay your extra fee and then get the number issued. So to display number five on your X5 car, let's say, it, it will go as 0005 and all those leading zeros will be replaced by centered dots. Let's say you have like a GTR 35 and you want to display 35 on your number plate. In that case, it will be 0035. In other words, uh, dot, dot, 35. Usually Japanese people, I think, they tend to believe in some lucky numbers or those fortune numbers or like those angel numbers. So they like going for like a lottery. There is a ranking of the most wanted numbers in the country or in each uh, issuing office. And those numbers, uh, they are always uh, for lottery, so you can apply. If you win, you can get, wear it on your vehicles. On some vehicles, we see like a little bit strange vehicle class code, like uh, two digits followed by a letter, like it's like a hexadecimal no a number. The reason is that the number, number that car is wearing is in high demand. It's one of the most wanted numbers. That means the issuing office run out of the possible combinations so that they are moving on to the next level. Like, like all these uh, three uh, 300 combinations are finished and they are moving on to like A, B, C, Ds and so on. The number plates always have to be like simple and boring like this? Of course not. You can go ahead and uh, customize it or upgrade it. Like there's like a glowing number or letter version which looks cool in the night or in the dark time. Also, there are some patterns or like uh, designs, like for example, there is like a nation nationwide uh, number plate design which displays all 47 prefectures uh, flowers on it. There was a uh, Tokyo Olympics 2020 uh, model or there is like Osaka Expo uh, designs upcoming or like uh, Mount Fuji or some other national like uh, historical landmarks. Like in many other countries, the number plates are installed in the front and back. And uh, there is one special thing in Japan. Officials will put a prefecture seal at the back and you are not expected to remove it. When you remove it, the number plate becomes invalid. Sometimes we see a car number plate which is crossed in red line or it's framed in red. Those numbers are temporary numbers or it's also called carry number and it's owned by the dealer, dealer shops or issued by the ward offices to move unregistered car from one place to another or from one shop to auction house or from like your home to the registration office. It's like for temporary use only. Official vehicles of defense forces use different car number plates. United States military member in Japan could be using a different number plate on the passenger car which starts with Y or on mini car which starts with A. And there you have it folks, the breakdown of Japanese car number plates. Next time when you spot a Japanese car when you, or when you see a car on Japanese streets, you know exactly what those characters mean on the plates. Thank you for tuning into our channel. Please consider subscribing if you find this video informative. Until then, stay safe, drive safe, and stay curious.